can carry on. That's what you have called them to do. I pray for you for your mighty blessings upon the leaders, upon the ministries that they are performing, Lord God, in the areas of the city today and also the outback of Australia. Father, we thank you. We praise you that you're going to do great and mighty things. The rest is surely your promises as you seek God first. Everything else will be added unto us. Mighty God, your source, the source that is running so freely this morning to touch our hearts and to lead us out of God so that we can see beyond our own reasoning and our own eyes and our own imaginations. Father, to see you, that you are a great God. Awesome God. Beautiful God. There is no word that we can ever find to express your greatness. There is no word to, that we can find to express your highness, your supremacy. Or what we can say together. That, yes. You are a great God. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Father, we thank you, we praise you for these few minutes that we will be resting in your presence. Please speak to us. Speak to your servant this morning. Let these words be pounding in our hearts, binding us together in love and in unity. And in the urging of our hearts that there is a job to be done. And Father, we thank you for the church. We thank you, Lord, for the disciples. We thank the Lord for the great commission that is ahead before us. Father, we leave it all out, out to you today, this morning, that you're going to help us. That you're going to help us, mighty God, so that we can see, so that we can hear, so that we can have a willing heart to follow your words, mighty God. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. And all the same said that. Amen. Give a big hand to the choir this morning. Hallelujah.